This video explains how to use My MATLAB for Econ 1050. You can access My MATLAB through the menu on the left hand side of the Econ 1050 Blackboard site. But before we see how to use it, let's see why we'll be using it this semester. You'll be using My MATLAB to take five online quizzes during the semester. This timeline shows the timing of the quizzes. Each quiz will cover the topics from two lectures. And the idea is that these quizzes will help you work progressively. Cramming is not a good strategy for maths type courses. There are some other important features with My Math Lab that go beyond assessment. We'll look at those shortly. At the start of the semester, you should undertake a diagnostic test to test your ability with algebra. A basic knowledge of algebra is a prerequisite for Econ 1050. There's also a practice quiz to let you get used to how My Math Lab works. Now let's see how we use My Math Lab. First up, there are four online videos that you should watch before you do the tests. Of course, the first one is the one you're watching now. The other three are produced by Pearson for My Math Lab. You'll access My Math Lab through this menu. You could really get away with using two or three of these links. Course Home, Study Plan and Results. Let's look at those. You'll find most of the important links you'll need in the My Math Lab home page. There's a calendar at the top. But the activities you'll need to undertake are listed under what to work on next. You can see there are three things there already. The quiz instructions, so they supplement the videos you should watch first. Here we have eight questions to illustrate the various types of answers that you'll need to input. Next, the algebra revision. Here there are 20 questions that cover the various types of algebraic operations you should be familiar with. You can see here I've already attempted one question but didn't complete it, so I've marked that one wrong. Let's have a look at that. In this problem we have a complex fraction that you're asked to simplify. It's a matter of rearranging this into a much simpler form and you put the answer over on the right. One of the benefits of my Math Lab is that it's not only an assessment tool, it's also a learning tool. If you're having difficulty with any of these problems, there are two ways in which my Math Lab can help. You can find both of these over in the Question Help button. First, you can view an example. So here we have a similar question. Notice it's not the same question. And my Math Lab steps you through the process. Step by step. And there we have the simplified answer. The other way is to help solve this particular problem. So again, it's step by step. This time you have to supply answers at various stages. So here we're looking for a common denominator. It's probably 28y. And so on to the next step. The quiz instructions and the diagnostic test are classified as homework in my math lab. The quizzes and tests have a different format. Here's a practice quiz. The questions are taken from the algebra revision. There's some very important information at the start of the quiz. It's important to remember this information. I've set up the quizzes so you have nearly eight days to complete them. You work on the quiz and come back to it later, but you can't come back to the same question. So these are the instructions. You can save the test to work on later. Yes, you can come back any time before the due date. And this is the important part. When you return to this test, you will not be able to access questions you have already worked on. Be sure to complete the questions before moving on to the next question or clicking Save for later. So once you look at a question, you have to answer it. You can't come back. If you have a blank answer, it'll be marked incorrect. You only see one question at a time. So here's the first question. Another important difference with the quizzes is that we don't have a help button up on the right hand side there. Of course, it's a test. Let's put an answer in here. We don't want any negative exponents in our answer, so we'll write it as a fraction. 216 divided by a to the power 10. We have an answer there. We've got a choice to make now. If we want to stop the quiz now, we must save for later. If we go on to the next question, down here, 
Now we need to answer this question. If you look at a question and leave the quiz, you can't come back later and answer it. So there's a warning there. We haven't answered this question. Take note of that warning. So let's put an answer in for and save for later. When they're open, you'll find the five online quizzes listed on the home page here. There's also another way to access them. You can select all assignments. And once again, the assessment items and homework are listed there. You see I've started the practice quiz, but it's incomplete. Another very useful and important part of my math lab is the study plan. So this is where you can practice questions from the various topics we cover. These are the topics from the first lecture. If you use this part of the study plan, it will take you through the sections and topics progressively. Another approach is to click on all chapters. And here you can find particular areas that you want to work on. For example, chapter three, solving equations. Solving quadratic equations. We have a number of problems there that are all to do with solving quadratic equations. You can attempt these questions multiple times because the values used in the questions are changed randomly. A very useful feature of my MATLAB is that the results from the study plan and quizzes are used to select new questions for the study plan. So if you're weak in one area, you will get more of that type of question in the future. So that's an overview of how we'll be using my MATLAB in Econ 1050. It's very important that you practice using the system before the online quizzes.